so I have the Astro hooked up. Uh, it is hooked up to a Singularity water box that has two 240 radiators. So effectively, this is 480 millimeters of rad space. Uh, it is a single DDC, uh, just running this loop and nothing else. Um, so right away, you can see that the water temp is 24 degrees. There's currently about 22.8 uh, in the room. So uh, water temp is close to ambient and we have a delta of two degrees on idle. Uh, I'm going to use GPU tweak as I think that's probably more accurate than anything else uh, as that is an ASUS thing. So, but you can still also see the VRAM, which I don't think the others capture yet. Uh, if you hear bubblies in the back, that's because of the bubbles from the loop. Um, so here we go. I'm just going to start right with um, Furmark. I'm clicking the computer through, uh, I'm using, I'm going through a screen capture, so it's pretty small. So if I'm misclicking somewhere, you'll know why. Uh, and it looks kind of tiny for me too. Um, but right here, you will see that we are drawing 100% of the power target, which should be 600 watts. Um, I think that's, yeah, 599, 600 right here. So we are pretty much going all the way. And let's just see what happens. All right, uh, the time is, well, it says 5.50. I'm going to let it run for, I think even within five minutes, probably equalized, but I'll let it run for 10 minutes, and then um, I'll just see what happens. But you can see that, oh, this is in the way. All right, so I scoot that aside. Not that you couldn't see it here as well. Uh, my GPU temp is uh, already 49. So compared to water temp, that is a 21C delta at 600 watts. Um, I have nothing to compare it to, so I'm not sure how amazing this is, but 600 watts is quite a bit. Uh, you're not going to really hit this when you're gaming. Um, what I'll do after this is I'll, I'll load up, uh, Black Myth Wukong and just kind of stand in game. Um, because I haven't played in so long and I can't play through the screen capture. It's hard to see, but that, that would be more of a demanding game. That's, I, I think more in line with what you would expect to see for daily use rather than this. Okay. So I'll let this run for 10 minutes. I'll keep it recording the entire time and we'll see what happens. And um, so that's it. All right. So it's a little bit close to about 10 minutes now. Um, the fans on the water box did kick up a little bit, so I saw the water temp drop a little bit. Um, but overall, you can see that I'm pretty much maintaining 2021 20, ish uh, once it kind of stabilized out. So I think that pretty much is going to be... I mean, if I feel the radiators, they, they feel warm, but they don't feel heat-soaked at all. So I don't, I don't think additional rad space is going to change this much. Um, I mean, I haven't drawn... No... Uh, from what I recall, uh, drawing on average about maybe 480 to 500 on the heat killer for the 4090 with the ultra cold plate. Uh, I think my Delta was like 12, 14 with two 420s, something like that. Um, so I'm curious to see what this would be in a more standard use case. So at this point, I'm going to stop for Mark and I'm going to see uh, if I load up uh, Black Myth. Uh, what it's going to be. So here it is in Black Myth. You can see that I'm about 83% power target. So let's just say that's about 500 watts, right? Uh, high, close to 500, we do the math, right? 100 being 600, 83% uh, is going to be in the 480s, something like that. Um, you can see it's 99% usage. This is with frame generation off uh, and all everything kind of packed up. So you can see I'm stressing the GPU fully. Um, I don't know why it suddenly dropped to zero oh, there. It could be just that, because like I said, I'm going to a capture card, um, but you can see that the GPU temperature is pretty much 49C, right? Um, and I think my water temperature is, uh, one second here, sorry. Let me get the other keyboard. My water temperature is gonna be about, if I get it up here, 33 all right so 34 so we're about 14 degrees 
on the Delta, right? So nothing too, you know, this is decent, right? You're under 50 at almost 500 watts. Um, I'm pretty sure, like I said, if I kept this running, it would probably stay the same. How much is going to would affect an overclock? I'm not too sure. Um, like I said, then again, you know, I over this is not overclock right now, but even if I were to overclock it, the gains are so minimal. Uh, well, you know what? Let's just let's just go for it anyway, real quick. Uh, see if I can do this on the fly. Um, all right. So I know this. I don't like how GPU tweak doesn't let me type in the numbers. At least for me, for some of the versions, I can't type in the numbers. Um, I'm just gonna bump this up to three thousand because I know it goes to three thousand. We'll just put about. Uh, I think this does two hundred on the core, right? So let's just apply that. Come back here, okay? So I definitely got more room. Let me see. It's gonna crash if I keep going because I think I normally run at two fifty on this at most. Um, let's just see here. Sorry, guys. It's really because I'm going through a screen capture. It's not like on a monitor. Uh, what well, is on a monitor, just not the way I prefer it to be. So, let's... Where's my mouse? Did I gone and lose my mouse? I gone and lost my mouse. All right. One more time. All right. So, let's just bump this up. You can barely see that. And hit that out again. All right. So 3045 doesn't seem to be going anymore. Yeah. So at times when it's cooler, it'll hit 31, but 99% load. I don't think it's going to hit 31. Uh, if I run around, you may get more room for you. You may not. And like I said, I don't think the temperature is low enough to make a difference. Not at 50 degrees. Uh, but I did notice that I didn't mention earlier is that the VRAM temperatures are kind of uneven. Right, so we come back to here. You'll see that um, you have 65 here and it's 53 over here. Uh, I remember when we put the block, well, when I put the block on, I had mentioned that the contact didn't look proper until I set all the back glue screws in, and it wasn't touching certain parts. Uh, this may be something that needs a little bit of tweaking. Um, it may be a little bit more on my end because I wasn't really fully ready to tighten them all a lot, uh, simply because. Um, well, you know, it's the first time that block has touched an astral and I don't want to damage something. But it is on secure enough that, you know, there's nothing to give without really cranking it down. So I think the the situation here with the unevenness is is a little bit something that probably needs to be looked into. Um, but like I said, the tough is more flushed out. So we'll put the tough in now and see if that's any different or any better. Uh, the tough, trying to think off the top of my head, I think it pulls about really close to 600 let's see if we can get it i don't think get it to 600 uh but we'll find out so i'm going to take the card out and swap it for the tough uh but you know 20c is not bad at 600 watts and this is what this is about 15c at regular gaming like fully loaded um it's, it's not bad either uh, I, I don't think you know it's not like you might be thinking oh remember the days of under 10 degrees delta yeah uh, for a 300 something watt card, you know, fine. High 400, close to 500. I mean, it's not it's not really as ideal. But I don't think this will be the best performing block that comes out. Obviously, it's a new design. It's still prototype. So with that said, let's just swap to the Tough. So the 5090 Tough is in now. Uh, the Tough does not have all of these sensors uh, that you would have on the Astral. So in GPU tweak, you're not going to see all that information like you just did out the Astral. Um, but looking in tech power, uh, GPU Z, you can see that, um, with the plus 4% given here, it is supposed to go up to 600 Watts with a default minimum of 575. Uh, so with that said, you can, you still can see some of the memory temperature here, 38. Um, but that's not going to be, you know, all cross like we could see on the other one was more detailed. So what we'll do now is we'll just run, oh, you know what, hold on one second. Let me bring up AquaSuite. All right, so uh, you can see my water temperature starting is at 20, 23. It's had some time to cool down, and then we'll just start this right away. Uh, so pulling at, what is that? Uh, view around temperature says it's 42. Um, is that, I think that's 557. 
Oh, 596. Sorry, it's right there. Okay, so you can see right here, uh, you know, it's about 600, uh, just like the Astral. And we'll just keep an eye on the temperatures here. Um, I wish it was as easy to see on this side. Let me see if I turn on the OSD here. All right, I think I, I need to reload this to load this. But you can see there, GPU temperature is 46. And we will keep the water temperature in the back. Uh, just to kind of line that up. So you can see so far we're hitting 21 already, right? Um, so that's kind of in line with what we were seeing on the on the Astral Block. Like I said, similar power draw, same core design. I wouldn't expect it to be much different uh, in terms of uh, performance delta. Uh, but we'll just let this run for 10 minutes. It's 600. So it's about the same. And we will see how that goes. So it's 704 right now. Uh, I will come back at 7.14. 10 minutes is more than enough. And we'll see where it's at. Yes, uh, you can see that it's been about a uh, little over 10 minutes. Um, pretty much I'm maintaining 20 degrees over. Um... So it's similar to the other one. Uh, what we'll do now is we'll jump into um, Black Myth. I don't expect anything to be different. I just want to quickly take a, take a look at the VRAM temperature. Uh, memory temperature is 70C. So it seems like it's a little higher than the other one. Um, that may be an issue. So I think the pads may need to be a little bit thicker. Uh, so you know what? I'll probably take the blocks apart and try with thicker pads myself just to see, because that, that's a little bit, I don't know if that's wrong reading, but that's kind of too high. Um, so, yeah. So, with that, we'll just stop this right here, and we'll go into Black Myth. I'm just going to quickly apply, an, uh, well, an overclock I know this card can hit, and then we'll just come in here. Uh, you can see that it's 45 degrees um, loaded up. I think the water temperature right now is 31 right so i never let it drop i started the game immediately so that's 15 over right um so similar power draw if we look at the numbers 86 percent uh on off of what essentially 600 so with that said um you know it's going to be hanging around here so ver temperature wise very similar to the astral block Obviously, the memory is something that I need to take a look at. Uh, what I haven't done yet so far is show you guys the air performance. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the blocks back. I'm going This way, it's, it's kind of pasted by me, not the original factory paste application. And we'll run the th fur mark on air just to show you guys with autofan what the differences are. And uh, we'll go from there. All right, guys, uh, Firmark's been running about close to 10 minutes now. Um, but as you can see, uh, it's hitting 65. This is on the 5090 Tough. Uh, I think we were hitting uh, mid-50s earlier. So, And you also see that the memory temperature is, 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 is the same. So in a game, this can be a little higher than Firmark. It's probably going to be like 80C inside the game. Uh, or maybe a little bit over that over time. So the water block for the tough, uh, the prototype, keep in mind, guys, these are all prototypes, um, that the memory temperature is going to be uh, fairly the same. I think, uh, look, I took it apart again, looking at it, I think the pads, if they're 0.5 millimeter thicker, it may be a little bit better. I'm going to try that separately, um, but not in this video. Uh, but you can see that, you know, it's a 10 degree drop, which is is not significant. Uh, it's not insignificant, but it's not, um, when it comes to the investment of an entire loop, I mean, this is in the case, I mean, once you have your headphones on, wherever you're not really going to hear 65% fan either, right? I mean, that's kind of what it's at, 66% fan. So I, I mean, we're going to look at the Astral next, um, but, it, you know, I mean, you can just call, I guess you can say the coolers are impressive, pretty much, right? I mean, I'm drawing almost 600 watts, 65C. So let me stop this and we'll put in the Astral and take a look at that.
All right, guys, we're coming across the 10 minute mark. Um, I just want to show you guys real quick that you see here, memory temperature is reading at 70. But if I look at GPU tweak, it's about um, 10 degrees cooler with the exception of this side. So I'm not sure how accurate this is right now, actually, um, on GPU-Z. Um, since it wouldn't report it for me on the tough, I'm going to assume it might be a similar scenario, that it might be just 8 degrees cooler or so, give or take. So uh, if you look at the memory temperature when it was on the block, I don't think it was much different. Um, but you know what? Let me take a look. I do have the record. Uh, so I'll take a look. And I think on the memory temperature at the oh, at that time, the memory temperature was about the same. So actually, the memory temperature is a little cooler on the Strix on the Strix block. So there's definitely some issues with the block in terms of um, on the tough with the memory. Uh, like I said, I'm going to try the 0.5 uh, pad thicker pad. Um, but yeah, that pretty much wraps it up. Uh, for you guys wondering, hey, how come the temperature is also 65, 66? Same as the tough. Yes, the temperature is pretty much the same as the tough. Uh, but the one thing I can tell you is that the tough is a little bit louder at the same fan speed, uh, even though it's both reporting about 60. The tough is a little bit louder, not much. I've ran both of these in an inside enclosed case, in which case the astral is a little bit better, like three, four degrees in an enclosed closure. Uh, but nothing really to cry home about. Um, but like I said, um, like I've mentioned before, a lot of it really comes down to the other stuff. Um, but with that said, if when I get more blocks in, we'll test those. But thanks for watching. Stay safe and take care.